the world-famous Flit Insecticides. Flit brings you another chapter of Love of Life. Going on this cruise with Rick Latimer has nothing to do with a boy named Tony Vento, has it? Oh, Barbara, why don't you level with yourself? Now, you know as well as I do that Tony hurt you when he came to New York. That instead of sweeping you off your feet as you expected, he, he just brushed you aside again. And that is the only reason that you've accepted Rick's invitation. What invitation? I asked him to take me. Oh, we'll show Tony, won't we? We'll show the whole world. We'll just be as bad as we can be. If we can't have the boy we want, we'll just take any old boy. You better finish packing. Barbara. What? Honey, I wish you'd change your mind. And I wish you would make up yours. Tammy, you've been pushing Rick and me together as hard as you can for weeks because you knew that that is what Rick's father really wants. Now, now that we're really getting together, suddenly you're against it. Tammy, I don't see what you're so steamed up about. I'm not going to ruin my whole life on one boat trip. Honey, I am not sure of that. I am not at all sure. What will I be after this fallen woman? Oh, Barbara, stop it. Well, honestly, you? Tammy, you kill me. Really, you do. Oh, this, this high tone moral talk from you. As I understand it, you've taken a couple of uh, trips on that same boat with Guy Latimer, haven't you? Look, honey, that was completely different. Besides, it was a long time ago. Well, I don't see that that makes any difference. Well, it'd be... It'd be you and Guy in, instead of me and Rick right now if you weren't playing hard to get trying to wangle a proposal. I suppose that isn't true. Darling, it may be. But that is completely irrelevant. Tammy, I'm sorry. You know I love you and I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt you, but you are not going to talk me out of this trip. You are just the wrong person to be preaching sermons on morality. And even if you were the right person, I wouldn't listen to you. Now I am. I really have got to go and finish packing before Rick gets here. A little early in the morning for that sort of thing, isn't it, Rick? Early? It's almost 10 o'clock. You seem to be acting as if this cruise were an ordeal instead of a pleasure trip. Well, it has its unpleasant aspects, yes. I'm afraid I don't see them. Well, you wouldn't. It just so happens I... I feel something like a heel. But that's a feeling I'm sure you've never experienced. In fact, it's rather new to me. It's probably what's really bothering me. You didn't force Barbara into this. She's going of her own free will. Yeah. And I'm sure she knows what she's doing. She's all for it. At least that's what she tells me. I'm sure she means it. She's a sensible girl. Just may change her mind halfway up the Hudson. Well, that I think would depend entirely on you. There's no point in telling you, I suppose, that what women want most in a man is courtesy and gallantry. Give them your undivided attention and treat them with respect. Up to a point, that is. There is such a thing as treating a woman with too much respect. This is one of those famous uh, father-son talks I've been hearing so much about, huh? Well, it just doesn't seem to be the way I've always pictured it. I didn't really expect you'd listen to anything I had to say. Oh, I'm all ears, Peter. I find your little lecture quite fascinating. All right, Rick. Suppose you forget that bottle and go and call for Barbara. I've got a better idea. I think I'll take it with me. I hope the trip turns out well for both of you. Thanks, Peter. So do I. But I'm not quite sure I know what I mean when I say that. You don't have to see it, you kill it with flit. You flit doesn't need a direct hit. Flit vapor goes anywhere. So oh, if there's an insect there, you should it with flit. New flit house and garden insect killer works the way an exterminator does. New flit doesn't need a direct hit. New flit releases a super fine mist which spreads as a potent vapor. Uh, smells pleasant to people, but bugs start to die the instant they breathe it. New flit doesn't miss. Floats where flying insects go, flushes out crawling insects, and flattens them. And new flit super fine mist plus vapor sprayed directly even kills garden pests. Specify new flit house and garden insect killer because you don't need a direct hit with flit. All under control. 
control, Fowler? Yes, sir, I did everything you suggested, sir. You were on the boat yourself? Yes, sir, I inspected it very carefully. It's a ship shape as Roger said it was? Well, it seemed to me in excellent condition, sir. What about the supplies? The catering service brought the food aboard while I was there, sir. Wine? Oh, yes, six bottles of champagne and six of burgundy, both the vintage you suggested. I don't think you have anything to be concerned about, Mr. Latimer. With the possible exception of my son. Well, certainly you have nothing to worry about with Rick, Mr. Latimer. He's an excellent sailor. I was thinking of his qualities as a navigator. Well, certainly he's long ago proved his skills with the uh, ladies. How well I know that. But I had a feeling he wasn't quite sure of himself with the Sterling girl. Well, that's a strange reaction for Rick. It certainly is. I don't quite know how to interpret it. It could just be that Rick, for the first time in his life, is feeling the pangs of love. At least I hope that's what's behind his certainty. A girl like the Sterling girl, simple, good stock, small town background, is just what Rick needs. Probably the only thing that can save him. The Sterling girl may come from Rose Hill, but uh, she hardly sounds simple or small town to me, sir. What do you mean by that? Well, going off on this weekend cruise with Rick is not unsophisticated. Well, apparently, this is just a phase of defying convention she's going through. Coming from her background, conventions such as marriage will eventually take over. That's what I'm banking on. Well, let her defy conventions this weekend with Rick. Then she'll think better of it next weekend. It may very well end in marriage. Excuse me, sir. Talk to you. The answer, Tammy, I'm afraid, is no. Well, darling, you might at least have the decency to let me ask the question first. Well, I can ask it for you. Will I step in and stop the cruise? I've been waiting all morning for you to drop around and beg me to. Guy, you've got to. <laughs> you delight me. You really do. I've always suspected that underneath that carefree bohemian manner of yours lies a prim, Tidy Victorian soul. <laughs> and all your years in the sinful atmosphere of the theater hasn't really touched it. It's really very moving. Oh, Guy, stop it. And will you, for heaven's sakes, open your eyes? Now, listen to me. I am not being puritanical, Guy. I am just trying to do a job that I set out to do when I brought Barbara to New York. Protect her from the perils of the big city. Darling, go ahead and laugh at me all you like. But will you please call before it's too late? Will you call and tell Barbara to tell Rick that the boat is not available after all? Isn't Rick there? Well, he wasn't there when I left. Well, maybe you've nothing to worry about. He was drinking so much, he may never get there. I doubt that very much. Guy, will you please do it for me? I'm sorry, Tammy. I know you're enjoying the role, but it really doesn't make much sense. As I understand it, it was the Sterling girl herself who suggested the cruise. But you don't know why. Of course, this invitation came at exactly the right moment. I, I should say exactly the wrong moment. Caught her squarely on the rebound. Well, then her meeting with her erstwhile fiancé wasn't a success. Darling, it was a dismal flop. She just poured out her heart to him, and he was deaf, dumb, and blind. He didn't even bother to call and say goodbye. Now, Guy, if it weren't for that, if it, if it weren't for the fact that she was just completely floored by his indifference, why, she wouldn't have even considered Rick's invitation at all. But she has considered it, and personally, I think it's very wise and uh, far-sighted of her. She needs to get over the Venter boy, and it's a splendid way of doing it. Anyway, I have faith in her ability to take care of herself. She'll be all right. Guy. Yes, Tammy? What if I told you, darling, that I changed my mind? What if I said that I'd go on the cruise after all? That's very self-sacrificing of you, Tammy, but I don't think I can accept your sacrifice. I prefer to have a companion on the cruise who's there because she wants to be there, not because she's just being noble. And there's nothing I can say? Not a thing, Tammy. 
All you can do is hope it will turn out for the best, which I am sure it will. All I can do, Guy, is hope that Barbara is old enough to know her way around, that she can take care of herself. And believe me, Guy, I hope so with all my heart. You don't have to see it. You fill it with bits. You fit. Doesn't need a direct hit. Split paper goes anywhere. So if there's an insect there, you should sure murder it. New flit flying mosquito killer, for instance, works the way an exterminator does. New flit doesn't need a direct hit. Uh, new flit releases a super fine mist, which spreads as a potent vapor. <laughs> Smells pleasant to people, but quickly knocks annoying flies and mosquitoes out of the air. How about that? Flit vapor goes anywhere, so if there's an insect there. Uh, behind furnishings, on top of moldings, I mean, in all those hard to reach places like. Yours, now you can really protect your house against flying insects because you don't need a direct hit with flit. Oh, get new flit flying mosquito killer today. Part one of Love of Life has been presented by the world famous flit insecticides. An airline hostess, attractive, efficient in her job, but we're peeking far into the future. This airline hostess looks quite different today, much younger, like your own daughter, not even thinking about her future. Right now, your child has the important job of growing, building a strong, straight body. That means your child needs protein. Protein as Nabisco shredded wheat brings it to you. Protein even more effective than nature made it, so it has growth-building nourishment it didn't have before, improved wheat protein. Nabisco shredded wheat is hearty nourishment in either the golden toasted regular biscuits or in the crunchy new spoon size shredded wheat juniors. Two delicious ways Nabisco brings you improved wheat protein for a strong body and a bright future. Serve your family Nabisco shredded wheat and Nabisco shredded wheat juniors with improved wheat protein. Heaven help us, we are becalmed. Not a, not a sail on the horizon. We're doomed. We'll die here like rats in a trap. You are silly. <laughs> now stop putting on such a show and have some of this champagne. It's wonderful. Compliments of uh, my esteemed father. Yeah, well, it's wonderful anyway. Now, try it. What do we park here for anyway? Park? <laughs> my dear benighted landlubber, you don't park a boat. Well, whatever you do with the boat. Well, you heave to, you drop anchor. You do a lot of things, but you don't park. All righty. Why did we drop anchor here? Well, for one thing, it's kind of hard to drink champagne with one hand on the tiller. <laughs> and for another, I, I want you to be able to admire the glories of Long Island Sound and the gleaming rays of the setting sun. Oh, it is beautiful here. To the leeward, we have the rock-bound coast of Connecticut. And that sad, far-off cry you hear is, well, that's the wistful voice of the New Haven commuter special, making all the little stops for all the little people. Greenwich, <coughs> Stamford, oh, Norwalk, Staten, Norwalk, Westport. Oh, come on, sit down before you fall down. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. Well, I aim to please. Well, you're not going to fall afternoon. Well, that's strictly the result of following my father's golden precepts. We had a long, hot, hot talk this morning. He informed me that, uh, the way to a girl's heart is through gallantry and curse. You said girl. Do you mean lady? Yes, I believe that's the term you use. You can't think I'm very much of one. For that matter, neither can you. I think you're a very, very lovely lady. Oh, Rick, please, forget about your father's heart-to-heart -heart talk and uh, be honest with me. <sighs> Were you uh, shocked when I asked you to take me on? Pleasantly shocked, yes. You think that it was the sort of thing I, I did all the time? Oh, definitely. Well, the first time I saw you, I said to myself, well, now there is a girl who does nothing but spend her life going on long cruises with all her male friends. Anybody who sees you knows that you lead a scarlet life. Rick, I'm serious. Well, so am I. I've never done anything like this before. 
No kidding. True. Well, it's perfectly obvious why you decided to go on this little cruise with me. I mean, Rick Latimer's fantastic charm just overcame you, and, and suddenly you'll find yourself prancing down the primrose path to ruin. Rick, must you make a joke of everything? Everything is a joke. I didn't make it that way. That's true enough. Of course, there are some people stupid enough to think that my vast charms had nothing to do with your taking this little pilgrimage. Well, there are some chowderheads who have some sort of a cockeyed theory. The reason you gave up the, the Girl Scout pledge was because of a hometown boy. Tony. Yes, I believe that's his name. Big pill and scalpel boy. But I'm no stoop. I know it was my charms. I, I know it has nothing to do with trying to forget Rose Hill's future gift to the medical profession. What difference does it make why I came here? I'm here. That's right. You're here, and I'm here. Instead of trying to help you forget, I keep babbling about that guy. Oh, no, you do help. You've been wonderfully funny and, and amusing, and, and I've hardly thought of him all day. And this helps, too. That, yeah. That's, that's a cure for anything. Of course, I know of a better cure, sort of a, an old folk remedy that's guaranteed to mend broken hearts. What is it, Rick? Well, it, it, you have to sort of follow a little ritual, you know, or it just doesn't work at all. First of all, if you happen to be holding a glass of champagne, you've got to set it down. And then if a fair lady with a broken heart is also holding a glass of champagne, you've got to take it away from her. You set it down. And then you have to put your arm here, so. And then you sort of draw her up against you like that, as close as you possibly can. And it's a very peculiar custom. You put your lips against hers. Nothing to do but have at it again. I mean, all the old parchments say that you you may have to repeat the dosage. Some other time, some other place, some other guy. Okay. No. I understand uh, there's a supply of victuals, plain and fancy, mostly fancy, stowed away aboard the ship. Rick. How about you refilling the glasses and I'll go ransack the galley? All right, Rick, but remember, I wasn't the one who stopped. You were. Of course I stopped. I got hungry. After all, man cannot live by kisses alone. Mary, Carol Reed, how's the party? <laughs> She's got 11 kids there. You run out of what? Baronet cookies? Oh, sure, I can let you have some. Mm-hmm, easy. I got a regular package here, and the new one-pound size. Oh, you hadn't heard about the one-pound package of Baronet. Well, no wonder you ran out. Sure, I'll bring them both over. Right, uh-huh, bye-bye. Say, I hope you've heard about the one-pound package of Baronet cream sandwich cookies. You see the difference? You get three and a half dozen cookies in each one-pound package. Saves you shopping trips is so much more economical. And for kids' parties, Baronet Cream Sandwich cookies are the very best yet. Buttery light cookies with a real homemade taste. And a creamy, smooth filling tastes just like the icing on a cake. Well, I better run. I have to deliver these. But do remember to get Baronet Cream Sandwich cookies in the new one-pound package. That's Baronet, the very best yet baked only and deliciously by Nabisco. very considerate of both of them. I hate to have them sitting here waiting for me to explain why I, I bring a girl home from a, a two-day boat ride on midnight of the first day. 
Well, you're going to have to explain sometime. Why don't you uh, practice it on me? You mean to say you don't understand my simple motives? I don't understand anything at all. I haven't understood anything that's happened since we dropped anchor in the sound. Well, that's because nothing happened. Why didn't it, Rick? If only you'd explain it, maybe I wouldn't be so hurt. You're not hurt, really, are you? It wasn't very flattering. Looked at in the right way, it could have been. I see what you mean. Well, let's just say that it didn't make me feel like the most attractive and appealing girl in the whole world. Oh, it has nothing to do with your appeal, honey. That's considerable. Rick, you're stalling. Why am I home here at midnight on the first night? It'll annoy the great god Latimer. I don't believe that's your real reason. Why not? You know I hate to do what he wants me to do. Well, Rick, it's not good enough. If that's all there was to it, you would never have gotten on the boat with me in the first place. Now, don't get logical on me. You know I don't care for logical women. I'm sorry. That's the answer to the abbreviated boat ride, isn't it? What is? You just don't care for me, I mean. No, sweetie. That's not the reason at all. Or was it because I was... I was sort of using you because I... Well, because I, I... I didn't go on the cruise because I was in love with you, but because I wanted to get over being in love with Tony. Was that it? Well, let's, let's say that is the reason, shall we? Meaning it was. What could it have been? Well, it's strictly confidential now. I have a scout meeting tomorrow, and I don't want to lie to my troop master. Oh, Rick. I gotta go now, kid. Well, would it be all right if I kissed you goodnight? I think it'd be charming. Good night, Rick. Thanks for everything. Thanks for nothing. Isn't that what you mean? Well, I have it your way. Thanks for nothing. But sorry. See what happens when a headache strikes. Look, pain mounts up. You feel dull, depressed. Tension puts nerves on edge. What do most doctors recommend? The ingredients in anison. Yes, medical surveys show three out of four doctors recommend the ingredients in anison. Anison for incredibly fast relief of pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. Here's why. Doctors know aspirin has only one pain reliever. At buffering, you still get only one. But anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, a combination of ingredients to one, relieve pain, two, fight depression, three, calm jittery nerves. You get fast relief of pain, fight depression, calm jittery nerves. What wonderful relief. And anison doesn't upset my stomach. So remember, when pain strikes, aspirin, even with buffering, has only one pain reliever. Take anison with pain relievers three out of four doctors recommend. Get anison for fast, fast, fast relief of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. Nabisco Baronet cookies and Nabisco shredded wheat, the 100% whole wheat cereal with improved wheat protein. Nabisco has brought you part two of Love of Life. Be sure to watch Love of Life tomorrow.